Alrighty, this is blind version. Let's play this in full first. 1037 NNJ. Here's Pink Floyd. Alrighty. Let's bring that volume in just a tad. A bit loud here for me. 1037 NNJ. Here's Pink Floyd. It's cool stuff. I like it. Um, I would say a couple things. Um, I think the three immediate impressions were 1037 NNJ. A bit of a, a stiffness through here. 1037 NNJ. But when you hear the sounds. 1037 NNJ. It's like da 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 And in the head. It's mostly just all in the jaw. And I think even though, I know he's all tired and, and depressed and all that, but I think, and no one sees him, but you could still slightly pretend with a bit more energy through here, as in changes in the head accent so that the head has a bit more up and down and side to side and da 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 da, -da even with a bit of a straightening of the, of the body and down, not so much in the root, but like a little bit of up and down, just a bit more contrast in there. Like, this is great. Here's Pink Floyd. Like that type of stuff. And I don't think it would take away from this. So it's just a bit more. And then you have that at the end. Floyd. This feels a bit soft. And not that this is like a... Bang, like a buzzer that he has to hit. Pink Floyd. There's just something. I think it's also in terms of how much you drag the fingers. And then how they go down. This gives it all a bit of a, a weird sausagey soft feel. Oh, it's a weird comment to give, but I think I'll watch out for that. And then the other one is once we get to here, there's just always stuff moving. I do like I do like all of this from a technical point of view, but you're getting to a point where it goes back and immediately bounces back a lot. It doesn't. F this feels more like someone pushed him from behind. And then this is almost a bit distracting in what the fingers are doing. It, it's almost like, to me, it feels more like a, a tech demo than a character shot. If that makes sense, where it's like, I'm really distracted by the fingers. And I know that's a lot of work put into it. So I hate to give those type of notes, but it feels like you want to do the couple things. Let's go one by one here. Even this here where, and I know he's kind of getting ready there to do this and then, all right. And like the hesitation in the hand. Not sure if that's something you're playing with hesitation, kind of almost a bit of a shake, but this feels more like there's a key and then there's a spline and there's the move down. So I will probably, A, not go as high. This is something, good question for you. What lens this is? He seems to have really massive hands. I know that's because we're closer to the to the camera or if that's how he is because you know looking at this here so it feels like maybe you have to go with the longer lens and then reposition the camera to get into the same composition probably while we're up there I will probably keep that hand a bit more here the fingers just for the silhouette it's not all right around here like something like that feels nicer in terms of the usage of space even down there a bit but I would look at, like the main impression is that everything's a bit floaty and always moving. That's my main concern. So it's almost like you want to, like it's almost like this is too much of a focus that he has the fingers down. I guess it's very subjective, but fingers down. <coughs> Excuse me. Fingers down here. <clears throat> and then going all the way up. It's such a big focus where I feel like it could be something where he's like this. And he's barely moving. And also just because I'm talking about the beginning, if there's any way you can move that arm down with like a Benbow, get a bit more of a, a shape into this. So it doesn't feel, it feels almost broken back there. But it feels like you want to be in an area like this where maybe like he's tapping some of the knobs or something a bit more quiet. Maybe the eyes are a bit wider and then you can see some darting in the eyes unless you really want to just kind of space out. And then I would just make this really just 
less energetic. Like this seems like, oh, I'm ready. But it's, to me, it feels like you want to do all that. The tiredness and comes up. And even then the fingers would, would only be you know, like this far. And then when he does this, it's just right at the ends, he brings out the fingers for this. And this would be the moment of, eh, now I got to turn back into <clears throat> being more uh, animated. Where you could even push, I don't know if you, if you want to do that, but I could bring the hips back so it's not so straight. It gives you just like an overall feeling of, of curvature and down and depressed. And then when it pushes this, it could be like with a little bit of an adjustment in the hips. And then you got that visual feel in the back. I mean, the, the arm might hide that, but then it's a bit straighter. You know what I mean? Like even this. Um, then you have that feel. I like all of this. But, you know, the, the fingers are tighter there, the fist and everything. And just a bit more liveliness like this in the head. I think that's cool. And that way you have a bit more contrast of just less movement, less of a bigger shape there. And then he starts this. 103.7 NNJ here. One of these and NJ. It's just a bit more up and down, like I said, and a bit more activeness. There's Pink Floyd. And then the thing is, maybe this would be with a fist. Since you do have a flat hand like this, it's a bit repetitive. So maybe that could be a bit different. Just a bit of a, a difference. You know, or or he's like this, and just maybe that's what you could do is you could have the fingers like this, and it's just kind of slowly putting. And I know I'm totally changing the shot. I'm throwing out that idea. So obviously, you can do whatever you want to. But maybe it's something where it's like, you know, like I'm looking at the shapes. Everything is just round and down. Even the fingers are round and down. Just because it adds that feeling of just, ah, I don't like this. And that's almost too straight and active and, and energetic. Where what if you stay like this and he puts like this side of the hands on the buzzer. Or, you know, like the on air button. So that it's more of a fist. And not like an angry fist, but kind of like just like that side curled. And that way you have the contrast of that shape, right? Where it's almost like this kind of pose, but it hits this on that. And then when he's done, then you have this. Because he's still in the energy mode. That makes more sense. It's contrasting to the beginning. So it's not the same. And then I would also not take these out at the same time. It gets a bit too twin. Then you can easily just offset these. And like this arm will go first. That way this doesn't have to be so fast. So you can leave this here. Bring that arm first. Bring that one up. And then watch out. This feels a bit too IK where those arms go straight up. The hands. And it's very clean where this is kind of locked in space. While the head goes back this way. So I would try to... Go with this first, then this gives you asymmetry, moving the headphones forward. So you have this kind of move and this kind of move in the head. And then that. And then to me, it feels like you want to just stay there and not shoot forward. I know he has to get there. So like, whatever you can do for me to just go, oh, and maybe he only gets this far. Like this pose is what you hit here. And I know you want to go back and do all the rocking. I'm just looking at it in terms of it's quiet, like rounded shapes. Everything is down, right? Like, like I said, the fingers and down. Then, boom, contrast. Straighter, more energy, more movement. And then back to oh, rounded and quiet. And nothing is moving. Then moving into this and doing maybe that. Like that is kind of it. Maybe going this far. So that you have more contrast. Because I'm concerned that there's just enough movement. It's a bit too active, but... Then you have movement, 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 movement. And then we're, we're gone in terms of contrast and changes. And especially this feels weirdly too big. Which I hope that makes sense, right? So offsets all of this. And then maybe not going as far. Or you go as far and you make the shot a bit... Oh, there is sound. But you are fitting it out. So maybe you can go back here and just hold this for a moment. I know you want to maybe not make the shot longer, but maybe this for a second of... Just this moment of quietness after all of this activeness is like this. And just wait and you wait and then you go, oh. And it wouldn't be this forward rock, but it's more like he's slowly getting into this pose. And again, this is very subjective, but I'm, I'm massively distracted by those fingers there. This is almost like aliens and it's a face hugger. Like some creature that goes over his face. I would be totally fine with him going, oh, hold and then... And that's your end. 
Like this to me is a stronger visual pose than this. This is, hmm, if you had his eyes open, it's hmm. What should I eat today? Spaghetti or meatloaf? Whereas this could even be a bit more depressed, but this has a nice feel of just, you see the eyes, it's a nice simpler shape, holding the head versus this might even be a bit too complicated in terms of a last pose, but it could work. But yes, that is that. I hate to give such crazy destructive notes, but that's just my feeling to it. Obviously, show it to other people and see what, what other people say, but um, that is my thought on that. It's definitely a lot. I mean, I like the shot a lot too, but since you are signed up for this and you're paying, I just want to give you my, my honest opinion, which is, of course, subjective. All righty. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.